Hey there, we've got a D28 today that I have previously recorded and I recorded it when it was a stock guitar coming in um, and I'm trying to show people what guitars look like before and after, the same guitars. And it's tricky to do because you've got um, different recording days, slightly different microphone distances, uh, you know, just it's too many variables. There's a lot of variables, uh, which is why I haven't recorded A, Bs of the same guitar very often. Plus, as I've discussed before, they usually don't play very good when they come in. But we're gonna give it. I gave it a crack. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm gonna do here is I actually saved the original video that I did on this guitar. I did a couple of guitars and I compared them to this other 73D28 right here, which I'm gonna bring in again. So I'm gonna take that original video and I'm gonna bring it into this video. I'm going to then show you the worked on guitar and I'm gonna bring the 73D28 back into the picture. So there's gonna be three guitars to compare from here. Now you gotta keep in mind a couple of things. First of all, the 73 that's over there has matured um, another month. It's been a month since I did the first video. So that 73 has got another month of maturity on it. That may or may not be significant, you know. Um, this guitar is freshly scalloped. It's freshly done. It does not have that month of maturity on it. So when you listen to this guitar... Our test guitar, you've got to keep in mind that it's almost like a new guitar. So it's going to take it a little bit longer to fully open up. So what you have to listen for is the change between the original and the way it is now. And you have to understand that it's going to keep moving this direction. Okay? So if I were to push this guitar the way I wanted it to be, then in six to eight months, it would be past that. And so in other words, if, if there was a certain bass response that I wanted and I pushed to that point, then in six, eight months, even five years, 10 years down the line, it's gonna be past that and it's not gonna sound good. You've got to really keep that in mind. And in my opinion, once a guitar, about a year, after the guitar has been completely worked on, about a year after that is when it starts to hit its peak. And for the next five years, it'll open up again in about five years, and then 10 years. And then after about 10 years, it's probably going to be about as good as it's ever going to get. Not going to be too many differences in the sound. So, but that first year is critical. On this guitar, for instance, when I first strung it up um, and played it last night for the first time with everything done, I thought, it doesn't sound very good. Uh, it's discordant. The sounds weren't going together. And I kept playing it, and I swear within five minutes, it just went like this. And it became musical. Um, that was strange. Uh, I've never really seen that before because usually I will string up the guitar and I keep it in the case and I leave it in there for a week or something before I get back to it again. But in this case, I finished it, I brought it into the house and I immediately started playing it. And it was discordant. I played a chord and it's like, Ew, you know, the notes are kind of, and then they just went whoop. And then it sounded great. And then I played it for um, about an hour last night. Let me get that pick out of here that I dropped. All right, so those are some things that you have to keep in mind when you listen to the guitars, this guitar, even though it's done, is not as good as it's going to be in about a year, six months. The 73D28 over there that we're going to compare it to, <coughs> smoky here, um, forest fire up north again. The 73 that we're going to compare it to has been done for eight months now. Um, it's been done for quite a while. And it keeps getting another month on it, a little bit more play on it, and that sort of thing. So it has had more chance to mature. Where's that pick? I had it. There it is. Let me 
go. And then you get it like that right there, and then you flip it. Boom! Quickly. <laughs> the second thing I've got going on here that's pretty cool, I got some new mic stands. I, uh, my other videos, I had this boom mic coming down and that, you know. And I finally um, splurged and I bought some microphone, oh, I'm sorry, uh, drum mic stands. So what we have is this. And it just sits right on the floor right here. And it puts this Rode NT1 microphone at just right about the perfect height for me. And I don't have the booms going on over here. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to leave my chair here. I'm going to leave the microphone here. I leave the setting on the camera. So hopefully I'm going to get uh, as consistent results as I can get on the sound of these guitars. They're unfortunately very sensitive to distance. Previous videos, I used a stereo microphone and the camera was automatically doing the volume because I had no, no control over that. So I think, you know, well, you know how that does work. When you have an automatic control that brings everything up and down and uh, you lose some of the dynamics. I get more dynamics here, but that works against it too. So anyway, I'm trying to keep this microphone at the same distance in the same place. It's always pointing here on the guitar. Um, and it's about you know that far so hopefully i can make this more consistent all right so here we go we're going to do a three-way ab i'm going to play this guitar now but i'm going to splice in the video from the first playing of this guitar so we're going to hear the stock guitar first and then we're going to hear the modified guitar second and then we're going to hear the 73 d28 again so you're going to have three guitars again and I'm going to put a link to the original video where I had the stock guitar versus the 73D28. And nobody is ever going to get this complicated and detailed about it, but you could compare the 73D28 both times and calibrate your brain to match that. So in other words, if the 73 sounds louder or bassier or whatever, then keep in mind that maybe the microphone distance is just a little bit different. Maybe something is just a little bit different, okay? But I think it's going to be all right. I think you're going to see here what I'm trying to get out of these 70s modifications, okay? And then I will talk about this guitar uh, at the end of this video a little bit. So here we go. <laughs>
the chest guitar I have done tuners on it um, took off the uh, whatever they were the ratio tuners that were heavy it's got Grover 18 to ones on it right now I did a new bone nut on it with equal distance to distance spacing I did a full Evo refret and shaped the fingerboard so that it has very little relief right now um, Got a popsicle brush removal on it. I did a new pick guard on it. And if you go back and look at one of my videos just I uh, just recently did, I'm talking about um, mid uh, mid progress. And this is the guitar that has the stain underneath it. So you can see now what this looks like with the pick guard on it. You can't really see that stain under here, but it gives it that really cool red undertone here that looks as close as I will ever get to an actual 50s or 40s pickguard. Um, anyway, the pickguard looks good. The bridge has been scooted backwards. It still has the same saddle in it that the original, uh, that the owner sit with. It. The action is really, really low right now. I mean, it's like 76 thousandths of an inch. <laughs> so, you know, if I get a couple of buzzes, be ex you know, excuse that. But, um, golly, it plays good with that low of an action. It's just, whoom, smoking. I would put a taller saddle in it before it goes home, but the saddle is adequately tall, and so it's good for this comparison. So the bridge has been scooted backwards. It's got a maple bridge plate in it, and the X braces have been scalloped. Not the tone bars, just the X. So uh, it did not require an equi set. Uh, so for, I don't think it's going to. I mean, I just scalloped it a couple of days ago but nothing's happening here, nothing funky. I've got tons of room to work with. If this action went up by 20 thousandths of an inch and this saddle stayed the same, uh, we, we'd be perfectly fine. So it's not gonna need an equiset. It has had an equiset in the past because when I was doing the full frets, um, I could see the hole in there where they were drilled in for steam. Well, whoever did that neck we set did a good job on it, gave it enough angle, neck angle. Uh, we're not gonna have to go there again, so. Uh, it's had pretty much the full 70s overhaul except for the neck reset. So, good guitar. Got a good neck on it. Got a nice uh, 
chunky 70s neck with a rounded V to it. It's got a little bit skinnier than the 73 that, that's over there that's going to be on the video before this. It's got just a little bit thinner of a neck than that one, but not, not really noticeable. I mean, this one's really good. So this is a nice guitar. It's a great shape and it uh, looks good. Should give the owner many, many, many years. I mean, golly, these things are 50 years old, you know? Think about that. They are in, you know, spectacular condition. So, great guitar. So, uh, I'm, I'm done with it. I've got to do just a few minor things left. I've got to touch up some of the scalloping on the braces and smooth it out and that kind of thing. I've got to vacuum it out. I'm going to make him a, a taller shadow to put the action about 90 thousandths of an inch. Um, but that's it. That's just minor tune-ups. And so it's really good. I'm happy with this one. Just in case you're just tuning in, this is the first video you've seen and you've not kept up with the entire series, which I don't blame you, you know. <laughs> this is a 73 D28. It um, has all of the same modifications. A few small differences. This one does not have Evo frets on it. It's got the nickel silver frets, uh, but it has had a neck reset. It's had the popsicle brace taken out. It has a long saddle. That might be a small difference in this guitar, having a long saddle versus a short saddle. In my experience, um, the long saddle is a little bit of a warmer sound. Um, Short saddle is just a little bit punchier. Uh, it's a small difference. I mean, I just, I, I mostly tell people that I like the looks of it. This bridge had to get scooted back a little bit further back than that other one. And this one has a dark rosewood bridge pad. I can't remember if this one is Southeast Asian rosewood or Brazilian rosewood. Uh, but it's a hot rosewood. And that's going to give it a little bit more of a, of a, a deeper maybe a thicker sound you could describe it the maple is going to be just a little bit brighter a little bit more uh crisper and i i wanted to try a dark rosewood and so we went with that in this guitar it's small though you know it's not the big one and it's a hot rosewood meaning um uh, brazilian um madagascar amazon cambodian southeast asian anything that comes close to brazilian with a ping you know with a good tap tone to it um, and I'll have to look inside and see what this is because I can't remember. But it's in the other videos where I talk about it originally. This guitar has been in many, many videos. This one's neck is a little bit chunkier than that other one. That might give it um, a little bit more bass sound. So a, couple, a lot of things add up to where I expect this guitar to be maybe just a little bit more bass here, but not much, you know. This is a great guitar. I've really, really enjoyed having this 73D28 here as a model. Um, the owner of the guitar very kindly said, just keep it and we'll get it later. <laughs> and I have been putting it to good use uh, because this is a great example of what I try to get the 73 or the 70 modifications to. And again, this one just has such a terrific neck on it. It's just such a pleasure for me to play. So, action's a little bit higher in this one than that one, but it's still 90 thousandths of an inch. So, how's it bellied up over here or anything like that? Nothing funky going on there. It's been six or eight months now. So, this is a nice guitar. We will go. See you later.